The Rotary Club of Road Town hosted a youth forum at the Moorings Mariner Inn on September 25th. The forum focused on issues surrounding three areas, peer acceptance and validation, failing to help youth succeed and working with a new family unit to promote youth development. The forum was hosted by Shana Smith and included four panelists, associate at Auger and lecturer at HLSCC Jude Hanley, marketing manager and broadcaster at Zero Radio Paul Gadite Spirit, educator and poet Sheree De Castro, and HLSCC president Dr. Carl Dawson. Sean Rose has more in this report. Some teachers teach for the money, some teachers do not teach for the enjoyment, and I think that sometimes that can reflect in some children's academic work. The interactive, informative, and intriguing discussion not only crossed paths at various intersections along the generation gap, but also evoked passions and challenged the status quo on several fronts. Dr. Carl Dawson called for interventions from some of the key agents of socialization in the society and even suggested that media content offered to young, impressionable minds be re-examined. I believe that we have a lot to do in shaping the environment in which our children are raised and the, the environment in which they interact. I think that there are choices that can be made at various levels. There are choices that can be made at the government levels, for instance, even about what types of TV programs are allowed to be brought in through our cable TV systems. There are decisions that can be made at the level of, of the education department with respect to the curriculum. There are decisions that can be made within the community at the, and, and also at the level of the home. Jude Hanley sensed an air of censorship and opposed the postulations proffered by Dr. Dawson for regularizing media content. Having heard Dr. Dawson's, one of his theories here about perhaps regulating certain shows on TV coming into the BVI, I'm already on edge because I have a completely different view on that. She does agree, on the other hand, that positive value systems should be instilled in the young people during their impressionable years. In terms of if you have a good value system, you would have things like respect on your list. If you can respect a person, you can respect a person's property, opinion, and their right to that. And I think once the youths are able to have a good positive value system, that would help them to counter conflicts when they're trying to resolve any issues. The three main issues used as a roadmap to guide the forum were peer acceptance and validation, failing to help youth succeed, and working with a new family unit to promote youth development. But what are some of the views that young people have about the issue of conflict management? We have to raise the standards for parents because children have consequences. I feel parents should have consequences too. Children are getting children in this day and age. And the problem with, with their growing up, they don't want other people speaking to their children. Basically, they will not like other persons to correct them. Several adults were also attracted to the youth forum and they too shared their views on the issue of conflict management. As a community, we have to be responsible for all the children. Children have become a byproduct of relationships and so they are almost inconsequential and people are not uh, being together and raising children and they expect their children to produce a good product when they start out as a byproduct. For Shari De Castro, addressing youth behavior at the community level is no longer a collective task. I believe that we have strayed as a community from raising our children and because of that we it's very sensitive for adults to discipline children holistically um, because we have a lot of outside input and influence, whether it's from law or other means. But I believe that more than anything else, we no longer necessarily, I believe, can blame our children in terms of being delinquent. But I believe that we are now seeing an influx of delinquent parents. With the family regarded by sociologists as the primary agent of socialization, Paul Gadite Spett sees a need for behavioral change starting in the home. If we're really going to help these children, we'll have to change our actions as far as how we interact in front of our children, 
what we say and how we treat each other as adults. Sharing her own perspectives and experiences as an educator, De Castro called for constructive reinforcement from leading personalities and organizations in the society to guide young people in adopting positive behaviors among their peers. We have had premiers, ministers, doctors, lawyers, and the list goes on, of people who have passed through, whether BVI High School, ESHS, whatever it was called in the past, and they have failed to come back and contribute in whatever way. It, they do not have to put their hand in, the, in their pockets. The role of effective communications in relationship building was not to be missed out in the discussion. The forum was easily a success and presents a very useful vehicle that should be sustained for an appropriate time span to drive behavioral change among the youth while providing a platform for continuous dialogue on socio-economic issues affecting the youth of the territory. Sean Rose, JTV News.